they are not holding back. Should I try a lace front unit in 2024? I thought that Outre just abandoned the sleek leg collection, but it's back. What's up, car crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm super excited because today we're going to be doing yet another Let's Talk new synthetic wig releases. I told y'all that I'd be back to discuss all of the new Outre units because my last Let's Talk, we kind of talked a lot about Sacred by Beyonce, and we also talked about the new Outre Swoop series. It's a part of an expansion from their Perfect Hairline series, but since then they have announced a lot more units and I'm so excited to sit down, chat with you guys, and see what we're all going to buy in March. So happy March. I told y'all this is gonna be my new year. My new year starts in March and I'm really serious about that. So yeah, let me know after you watch this video which units you are thinking of getting because I have a lot on my list. Before we jump in, if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT, hey girl, hey, my name is Courtney Janine. I do all things hair on this channel, but I also have a lifestyle channel called Keeping Up With Courtney where I do more lifestyle content like vlogs, hauls, makeup videos, the whole nine. So if you're ever interested in any of that, definitely subscribe, join my core crew family over there. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right in because we have a lot of units to discuss, okay? And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Like, yo, they are not holding back. Okay, you guys. So <laughs> I had to scroll really far because it's so many units. The first one is from the Lace Front Everywhere collection. This is Every 34. She's a 24 inch wavy style lace front unit. She comes in gorgeous colors, 11B2, hazelnut brown, sunset copper, blonde latte melt, ruby rose, frosted ash blonde, ginger auburn, and spice cognac. This is really, really pretty. I have never tried the Everywhere collection. There are a few like outdoor collections that I haven't tried, and this is one of them. I just assumed that I wouldn't like it because I'm not the hugest fan of the lace front unit, well, the regular lace front units, but this one looks really, really pretty. Will I get her? Um, Seeing how many gorgeous units there are, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, probably not because there's so many good ones coming. I like to do these videos, one for you all, because I want you guys to be informed and I love to chit chat and talk about what we're gonna buy. But I also do these for myself because I like to like plan and be specific about which units I'm spending my money on. And so seeing which units are coming out, it helps me to better plan out which ones I wanna buy, which ones I wanna skip at that moment. And this one for me is a skip. So let me know if you are gonna be picking her up. The next one is a lace front unit. This is called Harley. She is an 18 inch yakky texture, loose wavy style, and she's a basic lace front. This one is intriguing to me. Now, let me know. I just said that I don't really like the lace front units, but this one, I, I am intrigued because of the layers. The layers is something that will always get me. For me, um, the layers are like a safety net because if I ever like don't like the unit or don't like the lace, because usually I'm not a fan of the part and it just looks really wiggy to me whenever I get a lace front, but the heavy layers are a safety net for me because if that ever happens, I can always just cut bangs into it really easily if it already has heavy layers. And this one does. So I'm kind of intrigued because it comes in some of my favorite colors. It comes in chocolate caramel, which you guys know I love, but it also comes in red velvet, pearly pink, fire copper, cream soda, copper blonde, blue angel, and the basic colors like one, one B and two. So I am intrigued. This one, you guys know I like to do bulk orders when I place my wig orders. So and I always do wig hauls on this channel. So if you haven't seen those, then definitely subscribe, girl, and check out my wig haul videos because they're so fun. But sometimes I just throw a wig in the basket because I want to reach the free shipping. So this might be one that I just toss in, you know? Next one is a new Swirlista unit. Now I did review Swirl 102 when she first dropped. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go ahead and check that out because to be frank, you guys, I wasn't the hugest fan of the Swirlista collection. I was super excited because I love the melted hairline collection but this just didn't exceed my expectations to be honest but I'm always still gonna check for the new Swirlista units because I want to see what's coming out I want to see if maybe it was just that texture maybe it was just that unit so this is Swirl 106 she is a 24 inch light yakky texture curly style she comes in chocolate swirl honey brown ruby rose vanilla mocha vanilla tart frosted ash blonde and golden amber and of course the regular colors like 11B and 2 this one is super duper pretty for me it's it's pretty right it's not nothing that I would be like OMG I need to get if that makes sense like I don't feel like oh I need to add this to cart but I think she's really pretty so I might I might get her like I said there are a lot of units that I am obsessed with so this one is just like it's not a need next is swirl 104 she is 20 inches yakky texture wavy style she comes in chocolate swirl honey brown oh I don't 
think these I don't think these colors listed on the website are correct but this unit looks really really pretty this is more of my style I might get her again she's very cute and I like how she looks but at the same time it's like nothing for me to be like oh my gosh I need this you know what I mean so that's why I'm like hmm I'm still eyeing because there are a lot of units and some that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I want to get so this one is a maybe for me next up is swirl 105 this is definitely a no no shade no shade no shade but this is a 14 inch yaki texture straight style a bob like a lob to me you guys know how I feel about bob I will say this the stock car model in the 1b this two color omg this is actually convincing me I might get her I might because we are entering like not even entering we're in March and March is the time where spring is really in full effect so I might get her because I do want to find my perfect bob maybe that's a little series I could do. find my perfect bob because you guys know I hate bobs so this one looks really really pretty okay she's a maybe I love her in this one one B I'm probably going to yeah she has a video so I'll like try to show all the colors but look at it in the one B where they swoop the bang and it's really really cute I might get her I might get her she's cute next up is another lace front unit this is called Rita she is a 16 inch yaki texture curly style for me this is definitely a pass she might look really cute with bangs but like I said y'all oh she comes in so many cute colors cream soda red velvet creamy toffee which is my fave fire copper ginger brown with no dark red you guys know I love that too okay this is a maybe because I think she would be really cute with some uh, you guys like I said there's just so many good units that I'm like I'm really trying to be strategic and be strategic about which ones I want to buy but it's like they're all they're all really good so this one I think is pretty and I'm loving the color so I might get her and you guys know the lace front collection units are so affordable so I might I might next one is another lace front unit this is called Dove she is 26 inches yaki texture wavy style for me this is a no she's pretty she's very pretty I love her in the chocolate brown color because it looks so gorgeous in the model this to me is a very safe style like I said I want something that I have either never seen before or especially in the lace front collection like for me like I said I'm not the hugest fan of that collection so it really has to be a looker like it has to be a stunner something I've never seen before um, or something that I can really see a vision with and that one just isn't giving to me next one is a new Ouch perfect hairline unit just a regular perfect hairline this is Jeannie this is cute this is 14 inches yaki texture wavy style she comes in gorgeous colors like I hope this is right is this right the colors listed are freaking amazing you guys sometimes on the website is not completely accurate so that's why I'm like a little hesitant but it comes in blue angel french lilac rosy blonde ruby espresso honey auburn copper balayage chocolate swirl and honey ash blonde a lot of colors that I feel like we haven't seen in the perfect hairline so that's why I'm super excited and this is something that I really have advocated for is seeing these fun color bomb colors in the perfect hairline the melted hairline so super excited about this I think she looks gorgeous I might get her I might this next one though this is called Kalia this is a 22 inch yaki texture natural state style this is really pretty I love the layers on this I'm a little bit scared because even though it says it's yaki the model is really giving me very silky vibes okay so I'm a little bit nervous but this comes in those gorgeous colors as well blue angel cinnamon brown moonlit night black jade black pink chocolate swirl and pearl blonde so a lot of cool colors I think I'm gonna get this one I think I'm gonna get this one just because because I really want to try the black pink color so this one's definitely on my list and I love the layers the only thing that's kind of getting me is that it looks very silky even though it says it's a yaki texture so that's one that I'm definitely going to get especially because I advocated for having you know more colors in the perfect hairline melted hairline so I said this before especially when I picked up like spicy red or the red velvet color with no dark root I pick up these colors because it's like I want to show them that yes people are buying them people want them so yeah next one oh my Oh my gosh y'all we still have a lot to go so bear with me y'all okay bear with me the next one is called Tanisha she is a lace front unit this is a 26 inch yaki texture wavy style super pretty I love the layers love the colors that this comes in it comes in ash blonde hot pink purple golden ginger moonlit night orange flame and chocolate caramel so some of my favorite colors and some new colors as well that I'm excited to try but for me you guys this is a lace front that I don't think will look really good with a bangs like I said I like to have that safety net anytime I get a lace front like it has to look good with bangs in my head I mean I could like cut bangs and hate it but it has to look good to me with bangs like in my head 
size before I can buy it because I'm not gonna be wasting my time, okay, period. This one is called Tabby. She's 20 inches, yakky texture, curly style. This is cute, again, not my style, and I cannot see myself cutting bangs into this unit, so I'm definitely going to pass, but I think that it's perfect for the spring summer because you guys know I love to go curly in the summertime, in the springtime, the warmer months. Next up is Every 36. Now this is giving vibes, okay? This is giving, I don't know, I've never tried everywhere collection, but this is 32 inches straight lace front unit. Comes in fun colors like burgundy, lavender swirl, royal blue, chocolate swirl, brown sugar melt, golden honey blonde, frosted ash blonde. This is cute. Now, stay with me. I might pick this up just to be a hat wig because it's very long and it's very sleek so I feel like this will look so good with a hat but again this will have to be something that I just add to my cart because I need to hit that free shipping mark take a shot every time I say hit that free shipping mark like whoa so many units I'm about to add to the bag that's basically all the units that I want to add to the bag to hit the free shipping that's enough to hit the free shipping in itself so what okay anyway this is Farah she's 20 inches yakky texture wavy style so this one is a wig pop collection unit I I can't it's giving Farrah Fawcett a little bit I have What's the last wig pop? Oh, it was Jasmia. Jasmia 12 inches and then the regular 18. Editing Courtney here. It was actually the unit that I was thinking of. Like Jasmia was correct, kind of, but I was also thinking of Polaris. I never dropped the video, but like y'all, the bangs were so like it was just like not wearable for me. So yeah, I just want to tell you all that it was Polaris. But the whole point of me saying this is that it has been a couple of wig pop units that have the bangs already cut that I just was not a fan of. So I'm on the fence about a lot of wigs, especially if I see them and the bangs look a little weird already. Probably gonna skip. That doesn't mean that I won't buy wig pop units with bangs because like I'll mention I really loved Brinley so okay back to the video I realized with Jasmia because I was so excited about it I don't like pre-cut bangs I don't know what it is well sometimes I do but like with that like I really love Brinley for example that's a pre-cut bang wig pop unit but this one even as I'm just looking at it it's not really giving to me like I feel like the bangs wouldn't look right on me so I'm gonna pass next up is a new perfect hairline swoop series unit when we just got the first three so i'm excited to see that there's already more coming down the pipeline this is swoop five so this is another bob i think that this is so smart you guys especially with the warmer months a lot of people turn to bobs because it's less hair so this is a 14 inch yaki straight unit for me i think this is pretty but after seeing the swirlista unit that i am probably gonna get i feel like i don't need both so I'm gonna intend to get the Swirlisa unit in a natural color, but I really like the Swoop series because you guys, I haven't, I think my Swoop series video will be the next video after this. I reviewed Swoop 2, so make sure you have your notifications on and that you are watching my channel because it's probably gonna come out this week. But I really liked the Swoop unit. And so after I tried this Swirl 105, I think that's the number that it was. If it's not correct, I'll have it on the screen so you guys can reference because we talked about a lot of units today swirl 105 i'm gonna get that because i feel like i want to give swirlista another chance now if i don't like that one i probably will be off the swirlista collection and just tend to get the other ones that i like the next one is another lace front unit this is called kamari she's 20 inches yakky texture curly style kamari for me is a pass again especially with the lace front units i am someone who's like i have to see i can at least see myself cutting bangs if i'm not a fan of the parting space so this one is a complete chop for me the next one is called Brene she is a another lace front unit she's 20 inches yakky texture wavy style she comes in fun colors like copper brown chestnut dip honey dip black jade black pink rose brown and pearl blonde so she looks very pretty she's one that I feel like it looks really good on the sidecar model should I try a lace front unit in 2024 maybe it's better than the previous years because I don't know these stock card models are really selling it it looks good i love the layers this is a maybe it's a maybe for sure i think she looks so pretty i love the layers but i'm a little bit scared so she's on the list for sure this next one is called diana she looks like brene but a lot thinner so i'm probably gonna pass on her she's 22 inches yakky texture wavy style she does come in fun colors like copper blonde cream soda jade blue purple honey brown ginger brown and pearly pink but again she looks very similar to brene but not as full so i think i'm definitely going to pass on this one for sure 
shirt. Corre, this is a new sleek lay part unit. And you guys, I thought that Outre just abandoned the sleek lay collection, but it's bad. She's 34 inches, yakky texture, straight style. She reminds me of, there was a time where Outre had a blonde series. Like there was a unit called Courtney with a K. And I got that same vibes with this unit. Super duper pretty. It also reminds me a little bit of Darcy from the sleek lay collection. We haven't had a new unit like that in a minute. I know we talked about a lot. Let me know down in the comments which units you are thinking of picking up because there's so many new units coming. And if you're interested in this hair, this is a U part wig, you guys. This is from Outre. It's their big, beautiful, like Dominican blowout. And um, I went to a stylist. I actually have been going to like the beauty schools and I have her do like a, a braid down and then just a minimal leave out. And she actually thinned the wig for me too because it was a lot fuller than this, but I feel like it looks a little bit more natural with less density. So yeah, you guys, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this hair in my comment section. So I wanted to make sure I answered that for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Corky family down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.